You chew my cords. You're not allowed in here. Ugh. Got it. Okay. I need to read these before I do them. Scritching or scrubs? Why am I doing this? Why am I the way that I am? Don't ask me to say boat. It's... I know. I know. I know. I know. Hi everyone, it's Amanda the CMA here. Finally, after two years, I know I'm so sorry. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I talk about anything and everything medical assisting and beyond. So today I am doing something that was created by Allie Young. She is a YouTuber and she is a medical assistant. It's called the medical assistant tag. So just going over some personal questions and personal preferences on things for medical assisting. Let's get started with the video today today keep on watching okay. so first question on the medical assistant tag is do I have my associate's degree or do I have a certificate I have a certificate in medical assisting I just wanted to get my classes over with a good in the field second question is how long did it take me to be a medical assistant it took me about eight months to get everything done third question is are you credentialed and if you are through who so I am a CMA which means that I'm credentialed through the American Association of Medical Assistants they are one of two agencies that you can be credentialed with and actually I have to either retake the test or do a whole crud ton of CEUs by next year in November otherwise I won't be credentialed anymore if you want to learn about that I will link that in the corner up here. Fourth question, do I wear dance clothes or do I wear sneakers? I don't know if I should be really funny and say I don't wear either of them, but then you guys would think that I wear socks. You know that I have the Midwestern accent. I don't wear dance clothes. I don't wear sneakers. I wear tennis shoes and my tennis shoes of choice are Nikes. <laughs> So this is like the freshest pair that I have, but I actually really love Nikes. I've been wearing them ever since I started being a medical assistant eight years ago. I think I had a pair of dance clothes at one point. I think my mom bought them because she likes buying shoes, but then she doesn't like wearing them. I try to switch them out every year just because they get so worn out. And it is the Nike Pegasus Zoom. I just buy them on Amazon, which is really nice because a lot of times you can get them cheaper. I like the more slender look of tennis shoes. I don't know. Once you're in the field for a while, you just have a certain way that you like to dress and you have particular things that you know you like and dislike. Fifth question. What is my favorite brand of scrubs? At my clinic, we are supposed to wear purple and we look like grapes. That was the first thing I said when we voted on purple. I did not vote for purple. I voted for blue, like a royal blue color. My favorite scrubs that come in the color that I have to wear is Healing Hands. Grey's Anatomy does not have the color scrubs that I need. I've tried a lot of different other brands. Cherokee I've tried. Dickies, like if you get just the generic ones, there's a lot of them that are so stiff and by the time that you wear them in, they're a little bit faded and then that doesn't look as professional. What question are we on? Oh, we're on question six. So question six is what is my favorite brand of stethoscope? My favorite brand is Litman. It's the Cardiology 4, so that's the one that I actually have and use daily. Seventh question is, do I prefer taking blood pressure manually or do I prefer taking blood pressure with the electronic cuff? Anywhere that I've really been, um, I've always taken blood pressure manually. We actually don't have electronic cuffs. I think I heard somebody else say this too. A lot of times if the blood pressure comes out high on the electronic cuff, the doctor will make you retake the blood pressure at some point with just a regular stethoscope and a manual blood pressure cuff. So I usually like to just do it right the first time and use the manual cuff. All right, question eight. What do I usually keep in my scrub pockets? So first of all, I wanna make a note that I do not usually wear scrub tops. I get so cold all the time at work. So I always wear one of our quarter zip long sleeve shirts that we have. They've got a hoodie pocket in the front, so that counts as one pocket, and then I've got two on my pants. Space is a little limited. What I usually carry around for my work is a folded up version of a paper copy of my schedule, scratch paper, usually about the size of this. I usually write the patient's name on there. This is for my personal reference only. So I write the patient's name on there, anything else that I need to write on there that I am doing before I get to the computer. So maybe like their weight, 
um, anything else that we may be doing before we go and sit in the room and I can log into the computer and finish my visit with the patient. Pens, pens. So usually it's one pen. Hopefully it's one pen unless somebody steals my pen because I accidentally leave it somewhere and I didn't put my name on it because you should put your name on everything that you've got in the clinic, but it's usually pen. So hopefully I have one. I mean, maybe I have two, maybe I have three, maybe I have four, maybe I have five. It depends, you either have all or nothing. Probably the only other thing in there is something random that I don't even know why it's in there. Ninth question is, is there a certain task you really enjoy doing that is part of your job? Absolutely. My favorite thing is interacting with patients. I work for a particular doctor, so the nice part is, is that I have my own patient population, which is my ultimate favorite part of it. I get to see everybody and I get to know them really well. A lot of times I don't even have to say who I am when they pick up the phone. They usually assume that it's me calling them at that point. Tenth question, is there a particular specialty that you enjoy? Absolutely. My favorite specialty to work in is the one that I've been working in for the past eight years, which is my entire career as a medical assistant, except for my externship, it's OBGYN. I love working in OBGYN. I love being able to see my patients. This kind of ties in with the last question for me in particular. I love being able to see my patients either every year for their annual exam when they come in and they're having issues or if they're one of my OB patients and I see them every time that they come in for their whole entire pregnancy and then I get to see them at the end and they usually bring their babies with them. So that's really, really fun and really rewarding part of my job and that's why I like to do the OB specialty. 11th question, why did I decide to become an MA? Why did I decide to become an MA? Um, I went to school for something for two days didn't like it. My mom thought it was a good idea to do nursing assisting, just to have a job that's stable in certain hours during my time of going to school when I'm figuring out what I want to do. I really did enjoy the medical field. I give every single CNA out there props because you guys do amazing work. You are taking care of people that can't take care of themselves a lot of times. And I think that that is just something, you guys are angels. You guys do such a good job, but it was definitely not something for me. I wanted to do something a little bit different and be more involved in patient care in a different perspective. And I wanted to work in a clinic. Nursing didn't really seem attainable for me. So I decided that I would take a semester off and then I would go back to school and you know try and figure out what I wanted to do. Well, I actually found my school when I was watching TV. I don't usually watch TV but I happened to be watching TV and it was for this college that offered medical assisting. I was like what's a medical assistant? I went to school in 2011 and back then there wasn't a lot to reference for medical assisting. I think that that's really crazy because medical assisting has been around for longer than everyone thinks. It's been around for a long time. So if you think that we're a new specialty, mm -mm. we've been around for a long time. So I ended up going to school for that and that's how I became a medical assistant. Twelfth question, which happens to be our last question, is do I want to go to school to be a nurse? And the answer to that is no. I don't plan on pursuing anything further. My goal in life and my essential goal that I pass on to everybody that I know is to do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Do what fulfills your life. Do what gives you challenges. Do something that gives you just something that you feel good about. And that's why I like medical assisting. It keeps me busy. I'm a very, I'm very busy at work. I get to work around some great people and there's just general happiness that revolves around my work that I do. That was the end of the video. That's all I have. Thank you, Allie Young, for making the medical assisting tag. I did really have a lot of fun with this. So I will catch you guys in my next video. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you click that button down below and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel and you will get notifications if you like about all my new videos that will be coming out. Appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you, Allie Young, for the video suggestion and I I will see you guys later. Bye guys.